I want to talk about the difference between a piece of data and an insight and why that's really important. So a lot of marketers, we have a ton of data at our disposal. We have a ton of dashboards. Um, and a lot of the time they're giving us that those top level metrics. Um, and those are useful, right? If we have certain goals for sales ready leads and we have conversion rate goals and so forth that we want to track, it's important to look at those and, and make sure we're on the, the right track. But what's actually really useful is then looking at that data and then drawing insights from that data so that you can create action. So I'll give an example. You go to your marketing dashboard, you maybe see how many sales ready leads you have, how many in working, and you see a conversion rate if you have really good reporting and it's accurate. And you can see that there's a conversion rate from sales ready to working of 54.3%. Now you're thinking, oh, that's not very good. Why? Like, what do we need to do there? How can we improve that? It should be like 100% basically if they're all truly sales ready. And so if you just dig down deep into the data or just click into the report, you can try and look for some common things there. So when we're looking at, you know, who are we sending these leads to? We're sending them to salespeople, SDRs normally. Okay, well, let's look at it by owner and see if there's a certain amount that are le that left untouched by someone. And we see, hey, rep one has a majority of those untouched leads. Why is that? Well, there could be a few cases for that. It could be that they you know, are just not enabled enough to follow up on them properly. The second thing is maybe they're getting the lion's share of those sales ready leads and it's just you know, they can't keep up with them. Um, or the third thing is um, maybe just the quality of the sales ready leads that they're receiving is not good and they're not even bothering to try and disposition them. They're just leaving them untouched there. Um, those are a few insights that you can take and create as hypothesis so that you can then go and see if that's right. Um, and then create action. If you find out, hey, this person's just getting the lion's share of the sales ready leads. Okay, well, maybe we should um, move to like a round robin or change up the way that we're assigning those sales ready leads so that they can get the proper follow up. And then so it's fair for the rest of the team as well. Um, and so that's an action you can take. So difference is data, looking at data, and then having data, but then digging down into the reports and then finding an insight and then creating action. And then that's actually what's going to move the needle. And the more you can get the team trained on doing this or have someone dedicated to drawing insights from the data to create actions that can be done is the best way to actually improve the performance of the team.